Hi, and welcome to my channel where you get a little bit of everything from animals to lifestyle and of course art. So today is a little bit of a sad and chaotic video just talking about my recent experience with my pet rats. So I've been owning rats for about three years now and I have lost a lot already. <laughs> It's very hard to deal with sickness and their really short lifespan, but I just can't see myself owning any other pet at this moment. And for a long time, I just want to be a rat keeper, a rat mom, if you will. So we start off following my I Raise Baby Rats video. And that is where you guys met Chip and Shady, the two brothers who are from a pet store. Hello. I knew that their life, their quality of life would be different compared to a breeder, but I took them out of a situation of emergency. And I fully stand for the fact that you should not support pet shops. Take this from my experience that I'm about to talk about as well. So, on the 9th of July, Shady passed away after suffering with kidney disease. And it reached the later stages. And unfortunately, he had to be put to sleep. Oh, mate. Oh, my word. He got jellies. And a tea. A baby tea for this boy. Oh my word! <laughs> You're still the same, aren't you? Now, I'm not sure what your opinion is surrounding euthanasia, but animals can't make the same choices that us as people can. So I feel like based on the severity of their disease and the amount that they're suffering, we as owners have a duty to make that call with the consulting of our vets now two months later on the 3rd of september chip passed away and he passed away with a severe lung infection that is believed to be microplasma now my small vets near me thankfully some of them can cater to rats but they don't have the equipment for specialized things like if Chip needed to be put on oxygen, they don't have a rat oxygen machine. So it's a little bit of a sticky situation. And he, he progressed in sickness really quickly. I took him to the vet. He got his first shot of antibiotics. And then I was doing my best to care for him. Like I was steaming him and I was trying to feed him all sorts of foods just to get his energy up, just to get him to feel a little better. But when I started noticing that he was not improving, I, I was mentally preparing myself to say goodbye. Now, I was going to continue with the treatment and see how things go, maybe consult a specialist if he started to improve, but on the evening just around six on the 3rd of september he was eating while he was steaming so i let the steam then i lift the blanket and because his nasal passages are a little bit clear he tends to eat after he steams so i offered him some um baby food and he ate he ate and then the poor guy started spasming and struggling to breathe and i held him in my hands and I thought he was gonna pass but he didn't and then he just lay there defeated breathing so heavily and I knew like okay this this is the point to stop and so I held him in my arms and rushed to the vet because I wanted him to pass peacefully I did not want him to pass because he couldn't breathe or because he was spasming and to pass out no it was so difficult to see and so I had him put to sleep as well. They honestly shared a really beautiful life together. Even though they had a rough beginning, they were very loved. And I wouldn't change a thing, except maybe 
noticing the symptoms sooner, but when it pertains to their life, they were amazing rats, despite where they came from. Now we move on to the second drama, which is a little bit more crazy. I'm going to put a trigger warning for blood and for um, gore, I guess. So, after Shady passed away, I knew that I had to get Chip, friends, a new cage mate. Unfortunately, he passed away before the introduction process started. Um, but I ended up getting two older rats from a breeder, and I have no problem adopting older boys because I think they're just as lovable. And they were not that old, they were just around seven, eight months. So I took them in, and we had to get them via courier which is insane to think about, like a little pet taxi, a little pet courier. But anyway, so on a faithful Wednesday evening, we go and we collect Argo and Bear. Now, I was really happy with them and I thought it would be cute because it's Argo, Bear and Chip and they would have been the ABC gang. But... Things started taking a turn for the worst because Argo, to put it simply, hates my guts. <laughs> so he was known to be a very shy and very passive boy with his breeder. But when he came to me, being I don't know if he was being away from his litter mates or if he was just experiencing a bit of hormonal aggression, but he started biting me whenever my hands were in the cage. And so I started leaving him alone and then trying to work with him because it seemed fear-based at first. And then we improved and we reached a point where he was okay with my hands in the cage and he wasn't biting me. But then it got worse because then he started like charging for me and biting me. And then that's when I realized, okay, this is not fear-based. And I was willing to get him neutered and get him on medication, whatever the case may be. Because when I bring in an animal, I'm committed to that animal. Same with Chip and Shady. Up until their last, I was committed no matter how much it cost. So I was prepared to do the same for Argo. But then he bit me on my foot and it was so painful and I was just so scared. And so I contacted the breeder and let her know that I think it might be best for me to send him back. She theorized that it might be that he's missing his litter mates a lot and he's just ex completely like stressed out. So he's going to go back to his breeder and Bear will stay with me for now and I will either adopt some older boys or get some babies from a breeder to keep Bear company. Now what I've learned from this is that it is also important to keep a running group because with pairs, I've had the struggle. That's how I ended up getting Chip and Shady. Because if they're a pair of rats and one passes away, that means that the one is going to be alone. And you have to scramble and just, it's crazy to find a new rat. So I wanted to keep a running group of three. But of course, things didn't go as planned. Chip passed and then Argo cannot stay anymore. So I have been having my fair share of drama this past few weeks which is also why i haven't been active because throughout all of this i've been balancing school obviously my social life do i have a social life i don't know about that but it's just been a very rough few weeks with these rats and just everything else going on but i know it'll all work out in the end I just have to keep on doing what I'm doing and I'm grateful because I get a lot of support from the rat community and even from people who don't really understand rats as pets they're still like oh I'm sorry I know this must be difficult and stuff like that so it's very sweet um, there is also a little bit of a negative side is whenever any of my rats pass away I receive a lot of pushback from friends and family telling me things like oh you should feed him to the cat or oh you should give him to a snake or oh you should do this or you can dissect him it's hard to deal with because they're very important to me but at the end of the day we cannot control people's reaction and what they believe about our pets and our choices 
So as long as you are keeping rats out of a place of love and kindness, no matter what anyone says, you will still be on the higher ground. So I'm going to put an end to it here. I will make an update video and also I am planning a video talking about dealing with um, the grief of pet loss. So subscribe if that's something that you may want to see. But for now, thank you so much for watching and thank you for any and all support. I will see you next time. Bye!